South Australian families with terminally ill children are calling for better palliative care. They say there aren't enough centres catering for families with dying children. Reporter Jane Stinson has more. A little girl for whom time is precious. <laughs> Kaylee suffers a very rare disorder and can't consume carbohydrates. She was given a year to live, now she's four. She's unable to sit unsupported or stand. Um, she has seizures which are quite severe. She has trouble seeing things. She has asthma, she has reflux, she has a development delay. Kaylee and her parents are in and out of hospital. A simple cold to everyone else is just a cold. To her, she's usually in hospital with one. The family is one of many to benefit from $50,000 in palliative care funding from the Little Heroes Foundation. They provided us with a lot of respite care, nursing care and also a cleaning package for our house. Little Heroes is now pushing for purpose-built housing across Australia for families forced to farewell a child. To be able to have a facility somewhere that um, parents could go um, would just make a huge difference at, um, at a time, as I said, which is unimaginable for most of us. At any one time, there are about 50 children undergoing palliative care in South Australia and hundreds more across the nation. Some families must resort to aged care centres and while housing exists for cancer patients, it doesn't cater for the majority of terminally ill children. You know, two thirds of the clients that we see have quite um, substantial disabilities and I think to make a place that meets that need is really important. Definitely relieve some of the stress and, and know that we can actually be all together. Jane Stinson, 10 News.